Hey guys, Steve from Oz Tuning here. Today we're going to be showing you how to load your custom tune using either the RTD interface or the MPVI2. Now the first step is to save your file to your computer. Now I'm going to walk you through the process. You just want to grab the email that we sent the tune in. I'm using Outlook, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the file and I'm going to select Save As. Now with this option, I can save it anywhere on my computer. You can save it to your desktop, which will be incredibly easy to find. Or if you want to, you can actually load it into another place. Now I have mine under Documents, under my HP Tuners file, under Logs and Tunes, and then I have a folder just for the Ranger. You can save it on the desktop if you choose, just so you can find it easily. Now for demonstrational purposes, I have on the left of my screen, the RTD flasher, if you have the RTD. And then on the right, I'm using the VCM editor beta version, if you have the MPVI2. If you have the RTD flasher, simply go up to file, and then click open. Now, depending on where you saved your custom tune at, if you saved it on your desktop, just simply click desktop and you can find it there. I saved it under my documents. So I'm going to go there. And then that's where your file would be located at. And you can just simply open it up from there. Now, if you're using the MPVI2, which I am, I'm going to click File, Open, then I'm going to locate the file where I saved it at. I'm on version 5. Yours would say Oz Tuning Omega version 1 likely. Click Open, and it's going to load up. Now the next step is you want to be in your vehicle with either your RTD interface or MPVI2 connected to your vehicle and then connected to your laptop as well. Now you want to make sure your key is set to the on position, but your vehicle not running. In this vehicle, click it twice. Now the vehicle is in the on position, but it is not running. Also make sure you have all the accessories turned off. If you have the automatic headlights, make sure they're in the off position. Uh, the same thing with the AC and the radio. Now once we've gone through that process, the next step is to load the tune onto your vehicle. Now with the RTD interface, all you would simply do is click the icon to write to vehicle. Same thing with the VCM editor. I just clicked a little icon for write to vehicle. And you simply just click right. And I'll walk you through the process. Now you're going to hear a lot of beeps. You're going to see the dash lights flashing off and on. It's nothing to be alarmed about. So it's going to take about two to three minutes for this to complete. Now you do not want to open the doors. You do not want to try to turn anything on during this process. And then when that completes, you'll see the prompt that says turn ignition off and wait three seconds. And then you turn the ignition back on and click OK. And then once that finalizes, you're set and ready to go. If you have any questions or concerns about your tune, just simply reply to the email that your tune was sent in.